Hey guys, and welcome to another tech tutorial. Today I'm going to actually be showing you how to make your first machine block, and it's going to be a macerator, in my opinion. Probably the most useful machine block that you can have, and we'll see why in just a minute. Uh, in previous episodes, I've taught you how to make the ingredients to make a machine block, but I'm just going to have a recap so you guys know what you're doing. First off, you're going to need your copper cables. So you're going to need your copper bars, and you're going to put three in the center, and you're going to surround them with rubber. You get rubber by heating sticky resin from rubber trees. By making this formation, you have enough for six copper cables, and that's all you need. In the other tutorials, I've taught you how to make refined iron, and these are needed to make your circuit, which is also a key ingredient for your macerator. So, to recap, you put one refined iron in the center, one redstone either side, and then you surround it with your six copper cables. And there is your circuit. Next, you're going to need an art machine block, and that's made using, again, refined iron. In the previous tutorial, I said that you're going to need a lot of it, and that is a true statement. So, you need nine to make one machine block, and you're going to need a lot of machine blocks. <laughs> sort them into a square, and then you have your machine block. You now have the key ingredients to make your macerator, and to do this, you put the circuit at the bottom, the machine block in the center, the cobblestone out the side, and you have to put three flint at the top and there's your macerator let's go and see what a macerator does walk into my little house and here's my macerator it's being powered by a low voltage solar array which I will teach you to make at some point and also it's feeding the energy to the macerator using a fiber glass connector thing I'm a jig which I'll also teach you to make so if you open up your macerator it will look like this and um, the red lightning bolt implies that it has enough energy to operate properly and what this does is if you have any kind of base iron blocks or you know materials such as iron or you have tin it's good to put into the macerator as what it will do it will slowly charge up and what this is doing is it's breaking down the block and you'll get double what you put into it so I should have two iron dusts come out And there we are, that's two iron dust. You can change this into two iron ingots just by putting it into a furnace and letting it do its thing. And that concludes this Tekka tutorial. I shall be showing you more ingredients for more machine blocks soon.